I'm here with Ron Sexton. Ron, if you have a moment, may I please ask you a question? You know, Jacques, I'm looking at this wall here, and this wall has probably got more common sense than the people of West Virginia. You know, because it knows when to shut up. And I don't know if the people of West Virginia can take in looking at greatness. So I'll let them see half right now. Skeeter, Skeeter. <laughs> you know, Skeeter, you've been a thorn in my side for many years. And he's wondering, what is going on? What is going on? He goes crying to the promoter. He goes crying to this person and that person. I don't understand. You know what's going on, Skeeter. And what I did to you last week, oh, that's just a preliminary of what I'm going to do tonight. Tonight, he was foolish enough, Jock, to sign his name on the contract. Said, yes, I'll wrestle Ron Sexton. Yes, I'll wrestle him in the ring here in West Virginia. And I will let the people of West Virginia to see me go down in defeat. Now you're going to look at greatness, folks. You're going to look at greatness because I tell you what, you're all not used to greatness up here. Not one bit whatsoever. Now I tell you, tonight you're going to see Skeeter go down. You're going to see the farm boy get plowed under the mat. And he's not going to be able to come out. It's going to be like a coal mine caving in on him. And y'all understand that. You know, you know, get it. Can y'all get that? You know, coal mine caving in? Of course you can and everything. Tell you what, Skeeter. <laughs> Have I got something in store for you tonight? Have I got it in store for you tonight? I tell you what, Jacques. <laughs> Call 911. Get the ambulance outside. Skeeter, time's coming. <laughs> I love talking to this wall. It's got intelligence. I'm here with Skeeter. Skeeter, let's talk about the problem that you have and the history between you and Ron Sexton. Apparently, he just don't like you. For whatever reason it is, I couldn't say. But, uh... You two definitely have a history, and he just don't like you. Do you know why? Do you have a clue? Ah, you know what? I have no idea what his problem is, but let me tell you what, Ron Sexton. I'm going to prove to the fans out there that once and for all, we're going to settle the score. I don't know what your problem is, Mr. Sexton. Yes, I call you Mr. because I got respect for my elders. But let me tell you one thing. To get back to the history, yes, Ron and I go back. Go back a few matches. I thought for once and for all we settled the score, but apparently we didn't, Mr. Sexton. Well, you know what? This old country boy came here to do what he's going to do best, and that's take care of business because I don't take things lightly. So you know what? Guess what they say? Country boy can't survive. So, Ron Sexton, tonight, you and me, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, nose to nose in that squared circle. Let me tell you what. If you don't think it's finished, I'll finish it for you. Not carrying any objects. Sex to complain, he might have a play on it, tight. And Ron Sexton and Skeeter circling each other. Skeeter trying to get the fans behind him. Skeeter might want to call the U.S. Army and ask them to stand behind him if he expects to hold his own against Ron Sexton, though. This is going to be a lopsided affair. Mark my words, Skeeter does not have what it takes to compete against a man like Ron Sexton. Why would you even make a man like Ron Sexton mad, Willie? Why would you do that? It's like Skeeter's never heard the word, heard the phrase, don't poke the bear. That's exactly right. They got a collar now, but locked up into the turnbuckle now. Referee breaks him up. Skeeter's so stupid he actually thinks that's a knee and ankle lockup. Sexton wanting to complain to the referee now. And Ron Sexton questioning the credibility of our referee. He's yeah. wanting that legal breakup. You know, I can't really blame Ron Sexton for questioning Rick Orton. Rick Orton is lacking in what you call character. Rick Orton is not lacking in character. He's a great referee. Under the training and tutelage of senior referee Andrew Gibson was given the authority in this match. Well, I want to direct you guys right now. If you guys would take a look to the right side of your screen up in the crowd, do you see the yellow jacket? Do you see the yellow mask? Mr. Bulldozer is up here taking notes. What? Willie B is absolutely right. Up there, yellow hoodie, 
biggest day and dominant as they come, the bulldozer, the man who crushes all. And you gotta wonder what his best interest is in this contest. Back in the ring though, collar and elbow tie up. Skeeter comes out on top, side headlock on Ron Sexton. You see Ron Sexton though, so big and so powerful, he's already pushing Skeeter where he wants him. And he grabs a hold of that hand and pulls that arm up. Skeeter trying to fight down for all he's worth. Ron Sexton though, so big and so strong, Skeeter just didn't have a chance. Pure strength right there, brother, pure strength. Absolutely pure strength. You know what I think we're gonna see in this contest, gentlemen? What's that? Brutality. This is a one-sided affair waiting to happen. Well, I don't know. Skeeter, he's he's a little strong himself, but you know, body odor ain't everything. Now, wait That's a true. Uh, Say Skeeter. what you will, you can't see send a skunk up against the tank and expect to see a pretty ending. Now wait a minute. You guys are not giving Skeeter the credit the credit is due. Last week, Steve, we sat here and we talked about the strength. The strength that comes from doing country farm work. And I'm that is something that Skeeter has. I don't know about lockup. Skeeter? Great arm bar combination wrist lock there. Torquing away on the arm of Ron Sexton. And that's a good strategy for him. As strong as Ron Sexton is, you definitely want to dissect a body part and do it quick. And you want to take away one of those arms. Because if Ron Sexton grabs a hold of you with him, he is going to crush you. Well, like we said at the Did beginning he say of the he's going to say Uncle Skeeter? Yes, he Uncle did. Uncle Skeeter. Uncle Skeeter. Is Skeeter looking for his it. Uncle Skeeter, who might also be his grandfather? No, wait a minute. no that's not. Why don't we show some respect there, Steve? Come on! In West Virginia, you never know. I thought I was showing respect. I did my homework. I actually looked at his family tree. Straight line? Much like yours. But you know, we talked at the beginning of the match how Ron Sexton is built. He's built for strength. He, now he's working on his strength. He's weakening the, the best part of him. He's got the upper body strength and he's weakening it down. Absolutely. And the other thing you got to remember about a guy like Ron Sexton is that's not all show and no go. I mean, Ron Sexton does have great flexibility to be able to perform some of the submission maneuvers and power moves that we have seen come out of him in the previous week. Good Lord, though. Did you see that? Ron Sexton just shoved his own shoulder into the turnbuckle so he could knock Skeeter back with all of his power and momentum. And Skeeter just got caught with a stiff shot there. Ron Sexton not feeling a thing. And it's very evident by the way Skeeter is holding his face. He feels like he just got hit by a two by four. And now Ron Sexton in complete control of this matchup as he goes to work on Skeeter, just measuring him there, popping him right behind the ear. That's a surefire way to get cauliflower ear, gentlemen. You know, I heard that Skeeter originally had five ears. Ron Sexton's already knocked three of them off. Oh. <laughs> Covered by Skeeter. You know, I got to give credit where credit's due. I don't like Skeeter, but he is surprisingly doing a great job of staying a step, a hold of, a step ahead of Ron Sexton for the moment. Now, why can't you give him credit where credit is due? Skeeter's a fantastic competitor here at Mountain State Wrestling. I was giving him credit. I said, surprisingly, he's been but able to hold on to control. Then drop the adverb. Going, going back to the basics, keep him with that right. headlock. Surprisingly is the key word in that. I didn't expect to see this. Willie didn't expect to see this. Skeeter didn't truly expect to be in control this long. You can see fear in his eyes. He might be stupid, but even he likes to survive. There's a little bit of mat wrestling right there. Keeping him down. But Ron Sexton, once again, quick to the kick out. Very, very strong. And Skeeter. He's got his, his hands up like 1930s boxing style. Ron Sexton, though, he's smiling, too. Sexton's already thinking. Skeeter's ready for a fight. Sexton's thinking about the next wrestling move. And that's the thing, you, being a veteran like that in the ring, Willie, you can speak to this. you got to think sometimes two, three, four moves ahead. Exactly. It's, this is the human chess game. This is the biggest mistake of Skeeter's career, trying to match strength with Ron Sexton. You know, the last time I saw anything that looked like this, so when my cousin George gone to Pappy Still, and we talked him to going out and poking away at a bear and wrestling him. Exactly. Spent three weeks in the hospital. I think Skeeter might spend three months. Is he working his way back? Is He's he trying. Skeeter or something out of nowhere. Good Lord. Drop what a fantastic drop kick by Skeeter. Took and out of the ring goes feet. Ron Sexton. And Ron Sexton is very frustrated, and Skeeter is very, very hesitant to go to the outside. 
You see the fist draw. Here he comes now. He took his time though. That's a mistake. Sexton's a veteran. You don't want to let a veteran have his moment to regroup. He'll turn things around in a heartbeat. Seven minutes down, three minutes left to go between these men. Three minutes remaining in this time, TV time limit. And, and I gotta ask you, Willie, when, you, when you're a wrestler in that ring and you hear that time, that time announced, what does that do? Is that a psychological factor? In, in you know you gotta pull the win off. You, gotta, you only got a certain amount of time. You gotta get it done because, brother, when you go to the pay window, whether you draw, whether you lose, it's not the greatest. It's when you win is when you get the big money. And Sexton on top of things, and you see him just pushing down on Skeeter's upper body, driving that throat over the middle rope. And Skeeter, wind supply cut off firmly there, and he's spinning a little bit there. That's not a good sign. No, it's not. Hammering away on him. Skeeter's oxygen. Hammering's putting it lightly. He's crushing him. Oh, once, oh there's an the ear ringer. Once again, Sexton crushes Skeeter between those legs and drives him down into the mat. Sexton making use of every bit of his strength. He has a very strong lower body. You can see the definition on those quadriceps and calves. And the lower body, we don't talk about a lot in the sport, but the lower body is a lot stronger than the upper body. And he's taking full advantage of everything here. Absolutely. Oh, face full of turnbuckle there. Skeeter reversed things out of nowhere. And now Skeeter back in control and trying to garner our victory and put away Ron Sexton, but Ron throwing him outside of the ring. That's right, Ron Sexton, once again, veteran instincts. It's what my good friend, Mr. Blackheart here, would call being a ring general. And he's been a ring general for a long time. Absolutely, you are correct, outlaw. But unlike guys like the Juicer and the Patriot, with age for Ron Sexton comes wisdom. With age for Ron Sexton comes wins. Hammering away on him now. Forearms to the back, forearms are legal. Sexton dumps him back into the ring. We're down to one minute remaining hey, in this TV time it. limit. What? What? Was that a what? count out? Are you kidding me? Are, are you freaking kidding me? What? What? No way. No way. I am absolutely beside myself. That was the most biased BS call I have ever seen. He's got the Jonathan Styles Happy Meal. No. Skeeter's family's gonna starve for a week if he doesn't get out there and grab that. You see Ron Skeeter though, he isn't eager to go out there. Ron Sexton is jubilation over getting the straw bucket. Skeeter garnering the victory but losing one of his favorite possessions. And Ron Sexton has accomplished his goal. He might have lost the match today, but he's right back inside of Skeeter's head, causing him misery. Good for him.